We all know Eleven Labs, right? You know, that awesome voice cloning software that allows you to clone voices with only a few minutes of voice recording? This is what my real voice sounds like, cloned in Eleven Labs. Well, guess what? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use an alternative software, and it only takes three seconds of audio to clone a voice. That's not the best part. The best part is, it's absolutely free, and we will install and run it locally on our own PC. I'll also show you how you can access the demo site for those of you who don't want to install it. The program is called Koki XTTS, and it is amazing. And don't worry, installing this is an absolute breeze because we will be using the Pinocchio one-click installer. I covered that in my last video here, so if you haven't watched it, pause this video and watch it. Great, so now that you have Pinocchio installed, let's fire it up and install Koki XTTS. Cool, let me change this to dark mode real quick. Perfect, much easier on my eyes. Now let's see what Koki XTTS is all about, shall we? This is where we enter our text prompt. We can select which language to use here. This is where we will set our reference audio, the voice you'd like to use. Of course you'll have to click agree before you can click on submit. However, if you follow me, you know that I like to check out the licenses to see what our limitations are. So let's copy this link and check it out. Okay, so the terms of service isn't too long, so we don't need Claude to summarize this. I'll use ChatGPT. Let me copy all the text from this page. Let's head over to ChatGPT. Of course, if you wanted to, you could also use Claude. However, for me, I'll be using ChatGPT. Alright, I'll keep it simple and use the prompt. Summarize this and give me all the main points I need to know about in bullet points. Cool, one second, let me take it a bit further and use the prompt. Can you break this down for me and simplify it so it's easy for me to understand? What can you do? You're allowed to use the Koki machine learning model, but only for things that aren't making you money. So basically, non-commercial use. So don't be selling this service on Fiverr. I'm kidding. Do whatever you want. I don't care. But don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so ChatGPT really broke down the terms of service in a more simplified manner. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to read the full Koki XTTS terms of service. Keep in mind this method works for any terms of service. I do this all the time. Anyways, now that we know our limitations with this app, let's go ahead and check it out. So I'll just use this default settings to see what we get. However, let's listen to the reference audio first. The Hispaniola was rolling scuppers under in the ocean swell. The booms were tearing at the blocks, the rudder was banging to and fro, and the whole ship creaking, groaning and jumping like a manufactory. Okay, so let's submit and check out the output. It took me quite a long time to develop a voice, and now that I have it, I'm not going to be silent. Wow, that's pretty impressive and that was real time. I didn't speed the video up during that generation process, so it's pretty fast for a locally ran text to speech app. Now I'm going to replace the reference audio using my voice from the 11 labs output I showed in the beginning of this video. This one. This is what my real voice sounds like cloned in 11 labs. As you can see, this audio is three seconds long and that's all it'll take so let's click submit and see the results here at Koki XTTS. I'll let it run real time so you can see how fast it is. I won't speed the video up. Alright, let's hear the output. It took me quite a long time to develop a voice. And now that I have it, I'm not going to be silent. Hmm, what do you guys think? Compared to the reference audio? Anyways, if you don't like the way it came out, you can just resubmit and it will throw out another version like this. It took me quite a long time to develop a voice. And now that I have it, I'm not going to be silent. Okay, maybe because it's my own voice, I can't quite hear it. What I'll do is use the speech of someone famous. I'll use this Joe Rogan podcast. Politicians are so flawed. If there's anyone that's vulnerable to AI, it's politicians. And of course, our reference audio only needs to be three seconds. Politicians are so flawed. If there's anyone that's vulnerable. It took me quite a long time to develop a voice. 
and now that I have it, I'm not going to be silent. Okay, it's not just me. That didn't sound like Joe Rogan. However, being that it's totally free and you're able to use it on your local machine, I still think it's an awesome software. I mean, seriously, can you really complain about free? Anyways, that was a three second sample. Let me try it with a longer sample to see if it makes a difference. Politicians are so flawed. If there's anyone that's vulnerable to AI, it's politicians. Yeah. Because if politicians are coming up with these ineffective strategies for handling all these social issues,